Ew, I'm a little David. bit. I'm a little bit. What's up, everyone? It's Emma and Eugene. And today we're talking about the AeroPress and how to use it. It's a great way to get coffee while you're camping, at home, on the go, basically wherever. But I have never used one, so Eugene is going to take it away. Yeah. So the AeroPress is actually kind of an amazing thing. You can do so much with this thing, and it even says it right here. You can do an Americano, you can do an espresso, you can do a latte, you can do a cold brew, you can do a pour over style coffee. You can literally do any type of coffee on this thing and you can enjoy the crap out of it. And then you can even brew on it with endless ways, including an upside down inverted method, a traditional method. I don't think anyone's done it from the side, but I'm sure they could try. <laughs> but you know, the AeroPress has a lot of different ways of brewing and it has currently been the method of brewing that has resulted with the most awards recently in barista competition. So this is something that is definitely trending and results with a lot of great flavors, a lot of different variances, so you can enjoy the crap out of it. With that being said, today we are going to do an espresso style AeroPress, which means that we're gonna do about a one to two ratio one being the coffee, two being the finished product, and then it's also going to be following along the same lines of our espresso calibrations, which is about 25 to 30 seconds for it to be pressed through. Yep. The only major difference that you're going to notice with our AeroPress is that we're not going to grind it nearly as fine as we would have a espresso, and it's not going to have the same amount of crema either. Uh, that's just based on the mechanism that's creating the espresso itself. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. The recipe today is 20 grams of coffee ground to just above your espresso level. And then we're gonna be putting in 60 grams of hot water, which should result in about 40 grams of finished product. We're gonna have about a 10 second pour with a 20 second press, and that should cover it. We will take you through this and recap. We are back and we have brewed our AeroPress espresso and we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot and Emma will break it down. It actually turned out better than the last one. <laughs> well, it definitely tastes very similar to an espresso. You don't get the crema like we said, but it's tasting kind of like a blueberry flavored sour punch. Sour in the greatest way possible, but blueberries because of the we did use the Gucci bean. It is currently not in stock right now, so you're not gonna be able to purchase it, but give it a couple of days, a couple of weeks, maybe, you know, wish for it a little bit, and it might show up. And when I say that, we're actually cupping it right now, so it should be in the shop again within the next few weeks. Send out good vibes. Send out good, <laughs> send out Gucci vibes. Go oh. 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 You didn't wear your Gucci belt, did you? Damn it. I just missed no. opportunities. No. Go back to our previous video where I Go back to the previous I'm videos the for, the game. Gucci, for the Gucci <laughs> game. With that being said, you know, we appreciate you guys joining. Let us know if you have any questions about how to brew on the AeroPress, if we weren't clear enough on how to do some of this. And feel free to comment below if you have any other questions, any other brewing methods you want any information on. Yep. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. Like a Sour Patch Kid. That's oh, Sour flavored. Patch Kids with blueberry flavor. A blueberry flavored Sour Patch Kid. Yes, there oh we go. God. All right. Anyways, 